Hello, today I'm going to show you how to find out the IP address of your printer to make sure that you can add it in properly, particularly when you're having problems uh, due to a WSD virtual port issue. So the two different ways I'm going to show you today are the most uh, reliable way is definitely to go just directly to your printer, press the menu button or go down to the administration menu then scroll down to information and print out the configuration page. Once you print out the configuration page you will be met with a page that looks very similar to this one right here. Um, it will start off with um, configuration up the top um, going through telling you all about the machine. Um, if you go down on the first page about three quarters of the way down you'll notice that it has embedded jet direct and then an IP address. So that IP address there is the IP address of your printer and you're able to enter that straight into the uh, screen to get around the WSD port or to add your printer to an IP address. So what you want to do, another way to do it also is to go into start and devices and printers and from there you can just do add a printer. Um, after you do add a printer it's going to ask you local or network, choose network it's going to go through your whole network and try and find all the different printers and their IP addresses on your network. Now beware of these ones with the extra numbers after them, you definitely don't want to use them. It has to be a straight IP address which is one like these ones here. So any of these ones with just the direct numbers. Now the printer that we're in question at the moment is this M880 and its IP address is 192.168.1.51. So don't go through the process from here because Windows will probably still create a virtual WSD port for you. Just write that number down um, or and then once it's installed like it was in the background here you can go through and change the IP address to a direct port. So right click it, press printer properties, then go into the ports tab. Like I said before open that up a bit. Just make sure that it's printing directly to an IP address which this one is right now. If for some reason it was printing to a WSD address, which Windows 10 and Windows 8 love to do, what you want to do is you want to add a port, you want to add a standard TCP IP port, push next, next again, now type that number that we just had there, uh, 1.51 and push next, and what it's going to do is it's going to go and create that direct IP address port finish and close and as you can see now it's ticked that it's printing directly to an IP address and then push apply. So after that you will remove all the issues to do with the WSD virtual port and you're able to work out the IP address and add your printer directly. Thank you for listening.